matron take them away. And a warm welcome to Morning Watch with me, Scruff, on this fine day, 16th of August. And it is a fine day of sorts, but are the charts fine? Well, what we do in these little videos is we look at the economic calendar, see if there's anything that can spike the, new, the market today. And we also look at the strongest and weakest currencies to kind of give you an idea of a watch list. Now, these videos are made every day for the Discord group. And if they're to be public, it's on a reward basis. And we're looking for 65 likes. Get 65 likes, the next one will be public. So it's kind of, you support me, I support you. And if you want to be part of the channel, do subscribe and click on the bell icon. So let's flick on to the news and we'll find out what's going on. Now, there's not a great deal this morning. There was a little bit of a flurry on the pound this morning, but nothing to get excited about didn't really spark the market at all. And that was running through the nighttime news, which again was incredibly low impact. So there was nothing to come into this morning apart from the open. Now, as we go through the morning, at 10 o'clock, there's a reasonable amount of Euro news coming. And if you think of Ripple in the Pond, because it's one after the other, boom, 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 it may spark the DAX up or the German 30 stroke 40, depending on your platform and any of the euro pairs like euro dollar so be very wary of that because that then runs over for euro dollar into midday where there's low impact news coming in again it won't shake the market in any form but there will be a spike around 1 30 uk time when the building permits come it's not massive but it's enough to spike the market and then through the afternoon it's very, very low impact, but again, think of ripples in the pond, but also think of markets setting up this afternoon because there is a very good news announcement tonight, which is very high impact. The FOMC minutes at seven o'clock, that will shake the market up a little bit. So be very wary of that. Um, ideally, I'll be finished way before then. In fact, I'm nearly done now um, because today I'm doing a lot of work at home and I'm just going to be doing some set and forget. Nice, easy way to trade. So with that said, what are we looking at today? Well, if I pull on the strengths, we'll be able to have a look. So if I flick this over, what we can see is the pound has gained quite a bit of ground this morning, which will explain why it's been on a Murray run this morning. And the US is catching up. But what is interesting is when you look at change of strength, the US is gathering pace, but only a little bit, but the pound gathered a lot of pace. So when you're coming into key levels, you want to be very wary because they are both strong and it will sort of range to a degree. The candles will start becoming very small. So what does it show us here? Well, if the pound's strong, what's the weakest? Well, it's the Aussie. And the Aussies lost a considerable amount of ground from last night. So the pound gained 13 points. The Aussie lost 34 points. There's going to be movement. Now, as a pair, the pound Aussie has a very large spread. It's around five or six. So for a day trade, I naturally discount it because the spread is too big. Likewise, with the pound CAD. Again, it's five to six. I kind of stay away from it somewhat. So that takes me down the food chain into the US Aussie here. Um, now from that, I can figure out where I would like to start placing trades. This also corresponds up here. And it's telling me the Aussie dollar is a good market to trade. It's also pulled out the sort of US CAD, which the majors has as well, because this is another section that I use, because these move regardless of what strength is. And the two best ones is US CAD, Aussie dollar. And the best of the pair is the Aussie dollar, which is what I'm looking at. It tells me which 
chart to look at so it's saying the hour which again is the hour here and it has a reasonable ATR so if I'm looking for 10 20 pips I'm pretty good to go with this so what's it look like on the chart let's widen this out slightly so that we can see it well we've been on a Murray run as you can see and it's currently in some form of retracement it's found this key level and stalled in on it now it's had a good push up but there is tails at the top which worry me somewhat but all I need to do is figure out what's going on so from the hour down to there this can give me some key areas and it's stalled bang on the 50 so what I would want to see is the price holding above the 50 for a continuation or come back down here to push up it's kind of a risky buy and there's also an argument that you could come back and sell down into this because that's uh, it's about 10 pips um, let it relax to then move up so that could be a contender for you you know why because it's stalling here and if we look at the bigger picture of the daily colossal run that cannot continue push down to a key area and has now shown signs to the upper side to move up because what we're looking for if we pull this all the way back is to see where what's happened in the past well the last time it stalled there was a hell of a move to the upper side but I've got to be very careful of this you know because if it breaks through it's got plenty of scope to move down but at the moment short-term retracement back up that's kind of the play I would look at this but it all comes down to patience so I hope that helps guys and I'll catch you all soon